But then it goes to shit. Who gives the other more compliments about their hair? I give mom more compliments than she gives me. She actually it was yeah. mom. Please. You don't really notice, honey. Hey, um, honey, I have to go like this, like this, to get you to notice something that's been happening. But that's all right. Dad, like, what's your relationship uh, <laughs> to your hair? I'm going from the bottom up. Yep, it's like. What about your leg hair? I don't care about that. Foot hair? I don't care about that. This. this is what is really weird. Nobody tells you that as you age, it all goes. All the hair on your body. It's like you're reverting back to your in utero form. And it is so fucking horrifying. I have three hairs on each leg. It's gone. This hair is gone. And worst of all, I cannot understand young women that shave their pubic hair. I do not understand it. Yeah, I'm not upset with the gray hair on my chest that's turned gray. Okay. It seems to grow a little longer now. Okay. Then, you know, it seems to not hold its length. Yeah. And grow longer, so I don't like that. Then I, I'm used to the ear hair, which has only increased. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I have my ear hair clippers, and I and I regularly clip them, and I'm fine with that. Is there anything that you're fond about the ear hair at all? Nothing. It's a horror. <laughs> and I know Mom had mentioned years ago, like, women will go for, I think it's called electrolysis. Yes. Yeah. And you can have, like, hair taken away from your mustache if you're a woman, or, yeah. or a beard, like Mom has beard and mustache hair. I'm not kidding. And... <laughs> I hate uh, that. I so, hate that creature that he does. Like you know, the fine line between dad <laughs> laughing really hard and dad yeah. choking to death is so <laughs> nice. That's very funny. And the thing was, I thought you couldn't be a feminist if you shaved your legs. But I hated the way that looked. It's Outside like, ear hair, hair, I'm okay. Yeah. The inner ear hair is also increasing. I put my fingers in on my left hand because I'm a righty. I don't know why. But I can grab the inner hairs and pull out clumps. Oh. And that's okay. Is that painful? Not really. I can't get the right angle on my right hand. Uh -huh. So I think I'm not getting the inner ears hairs of the right ear. Uh -huh. And that's frustrating to me. But I'm using the um, outer ear hair clipper for that. The nose hairs is a constant uh, tension needer. Yeah. And I'm always uh, attentive to that. Particularly if I have to uh, film anything, I, I, I'm ear herring and nose herring. Conflict with the same thing with the philosoph philosophical conflict with my face now. Yeah. So I finally I wore my What's hair. What's the philosophical on, conflict? That, with your that face? I should I should embrace just and not give a shit about what's happening. But I do give a shit. And I can't stand this pudding face I'm developed. But that's not about hair. You so, always said that, from the minute I um, met you. You had a, a, a round, a heart-shaped face, your mother said. My mother said I had a heart-shaped face. And when, and it that became was a a moon, thing. when it became a moon, you knew that you had a cut back on the sweets. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I had, I had that hair on my legs. And I, I kept it for a long time in the beginning of my feminism. And mm -hmm. then I just decided, fuck, I can be a feminist and do whatever I you want. My dad married me with my armpit hair, which she refuses to believe. Because he doesn't think he would have. But there's a picture of me that I can't quite believe in my little crochet vintage wedding top. And I'm like, this is about the cake. And you can see my little, you know, underarm that. hair. So I kept the underarm hair, which I like, and I got rid of the hair on the legs. Now, this is the thing. You've got rid what of your underarm hair. Not. I didn't, honey, not for years. We got married. You married underarm hair. What can I say? No, I didn't. I, the the eyebrow hair. Very, Dad is so the, lucky. The eyebrow hair is about. increasing, and it's getting bushier and bushier. And I lucky like that you. look. I right. like that look for a character, for a Mandy, for another yeah. character. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. okay. But, well, Dad, I, I like, like her hair, hair up. up. But uh -huh. I've lost half my hair also. I used to have such thick hair. I could like this. It took four hours it's to dry slower. naturally. Half of it's gone, which I hate. I'm constantly getting new haircuts to try and do it. Hope, uh, Marianne, the hair person, who I later got to work on Chicago Hope, she shaved that head and it never grew back. Mm. And uh, it did, but not fully. And it's gotten thinner and thinner and thinner over the years. And so I've just given up on that. And uh, I actually sort of like the look. It kind of fits with my age. 
I always sort of wanted that Jack Nicholson thinner look with just a little bit of shrimp. Oh, uh, there, there was a time several years ago I thought, what the fuck is wrong with my face? I, I got sleep and then I realized, oh, my fucking eyebrows are disappearing. And every day I put on my eyebrows because it's a major part of your face. You should take and some of mine. And that disappears. I, I saved your father because he was once doing a play where he was playing a eunuch and they wanted him to shave. He wanted to shave his eyebrows. Mm -hmm. I said they will never grow back. And they're one of his best features. And he said, what do I know? And I said, call a dermatologist. And the dermatologist said, once again, I was 40% right. of people that shave their eyebrows never grows yeah. back. I wanted to shave the beard and she went, why? And I immediately went, oh, so you don't like how I look without the beard. <sighs> you didn't think, oh, you like how I look with the beard. There you go. One place where occasionally one little hair, I live in dread of being, you know, you keeping me alive, non-functioning with this whisker down here. So I just ask either I'll of you, the whisker, yeah. just get it out, you know. And do you miss your old hair, your younger hair? The, on the top of my head, I do. There are times that I think and I look at other men who have a full head of hair on their head and I think, I'm not sure it would look appropriate. It almost looks like a kid wig or like a mop. Yeah. Uh, it's inappropriate not to be bald at this age. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think it is. 